Hey, I want to share something real quick while while we are here. If you look off to the your right or over that way, if you see that hill up on top there, that's called Svat. And it's mentioned in the Bible in Matthew chapter 5. It says, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It's then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You're the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Okay, do you see the city set on a hill? Now, it's, this is always a great teaching, but tonight starts Laba Omer and it's directly connected with us. So listen to this again. You are, are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. So let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So when Jesus was talking about being a, a city set on a hill, he's talking about Svat. And Svat is where divine wisdom of God's word came from. Right now, starting tonight at sunset, is the, as we're counting the Omer from, from Passover to Shavuot to Pentecost, Tonight begins because because day begins the next day begins at sunset, right? Everybody knows that. Not at midnight, but at sunset. So at sunset tonight begins Laba Omer, which is the thirty-third day of counting the Omer. Now there are several reasons why the thirty-third day is important. One of those is that during the time of celebrating of counting the Omer from Passover to Shavuot, we're supposed to be, be becoming more like God. And we'll talk about that when we get on the Temple Mount steps. We're, we're to be, we're to be uh, ascending. We're to be uh, climbing up the ladder because on Shavuot, on Pentecost, God opens the windows of heaven, pours us out. But there came a time in which God's people, the disciples of Rabbi Akiva, and they begin to bicker amongst each other and be cruel to each other. And when that happened, a great plague broke out. And, and the, the plague was, was a terrible thing, and they repented for not treating each other good. If you remember the teachings, what, what's the greatest of all the com commandments? Love God? These two are equal. If you say you love God, but you're mean to, you're mean, you're, you don't love your brother, the truth cannot get in you. That's what that means. If, 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 if I say, well, I love God, but I'm, I'm, I'm not kind to you, then the truth of God that sets me free cannot get in me. It blocks, it blocks the wisdom of God. Somebody ought to say, wow, because nobody else ever teaches that. Do you understand what we're saying? So that's why when he's, he's, he's com Jesus is combining the wisdom of God. Svat, we've gone there several times. It's a very, very unique place. It's where the, 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 the mystic wisdom of God comes from. And so he combines it with doing good, tikkun olam, doing good to people with the wisdom of God. During the time of Laba Omer, there, one of the things, like, like uh, I'm sure uh, Michelle said, as Yaakov said on the bus, is you'll be seeing bonfires being lit, and that's symbolic of the plague being broken, and they started to come back in unity, and they started working together with each other. But one of the other things is you'll see uh, children shooting bows, uh, shooting arrows from the bow. And the reason is, is that from sunset to night, to sunset the next night, it is a moadim, it is a point in time of God releasing divine wisdom. There is when that, there is wisdom 
that is beyond the natural that God releases to those who understand kindness and the blessing of God go hand in hand. In the last days, God will will open the eyes of the Gentiles and make them realize we've inherited useless and meaningless things, and he'll begin to show them great wisdom in God's word. That's one of the great prophecies of the Bible, is the Gentiles' eyes will be opened and will begin to understand great, great wisdom out of the word of God. And uh, my prayer is that by the time we you leave Israel, your life will never, ever be the same again. And so uh, this is an exciting time. Amen. All right.